I'm in my lazy girl era. Lately, my days have been going to waste. I stay in bed until 2 p.m. being super unproductive, literally just scrolling on my phone, procrastinating, avoiding all of my responsibilities. And this is not very hot girl status of me, so we gotta get it together. Let's get out of bed and get out of our lazy girl era together. This is one of those moments where I need to be productive, but I really don't want to be. It's already 2.21 in the afternoon. I basically have wasted half of my day. I've literally done nothing all morning. I've had no motivation to be productive. And you know, it's okay to have those off days, but this is becoming like an everyday thing and I haven't done anything about it. I hate the fact that I currently feel like I'm in my lazy girl era and I want to get out of it so bad. So today I'm forcing myself to be productive even when I don't want to be and bring you guys along with me for some motivation. Okay, step one is putting my phone on do not disturb mode because I'm not letting this thing be the reason that the rest of my day goes to waste. There's usually three things that help me get my energy up when it's low. One of them is going on walks, which I did. I had felt trapped the entire morning in my apartment that I needed to get out. So I settled on a hot girl walk, which gave me a huge energy boost. And then I proceeded to take a shower, which usually revives me after a long day of doing nothing. Let's start getting ready. It is currently now. 355. So normally when half of my day goes to waste, I tend to get really discouraged because once it hits like 3 or 4 p.m., it feels like it's pointless to make an effort anymore, but that is not the vibes today. I'm actually making an effort and I already feel so much better, like just going on that walk, taking a nice shower, and now getting ready. This is making such a huge difference in my mood. Something that I have been forcing myself to do is taking charge of my thoughts because something that I always had to remind myself of is that I'm in charge of everything that I do. Like when I feel that I'm starting to enter my like lazy girl era instead of letting my brain convince myself to just stay in bed I'll be like girl no get up it's like reminding myself to make decisions for my future self rather than my current lazy self so if you guys are also going through some weird phase maybe like a sad girl era if I start to feel like I'm gonna get into a rut kind of like this morning when I was feeling super gross and upset over the fact that I wasted half my day I was just like stop being upset is so unnecessary literally who cares just get up You can still make the most of your day. I do know it's really annoying when you're going through it someone like telling you Oh, it just do some self-care or go on a walk do your makeup Like it sounds like such simple advice But I promise you guys if you just do it and don't think too much about it You're gonna feel better anyways I don't really feel like putting on too much makeup because it's literally already the end of the day But I just put on some concealer sunscreen and lip balm something that I really need to do right now is write out some sort of to-do list just to map out my day today figure out what i want to do and i feel like that's where i went wrong today was the fact that i woke up this morning with no sort of plan i didn't even really open my calendar at all so we're gonna do that now <laughs> to-do list that I just made and I also made myself this cute little drink drink this is not very cute this is actually supposed to be like a chia seed drink something I've been wanting to do recently is do some sort of like detox or like internal cleanse because you guys I've been eating so bad recently and I had heard that this drink here is supposed to give you like a internal shower cleanse which I thought was interesting but I'm terrified because I know that this is going to be so gross that tasted so weird. Mm -mm. I don't think I can handle that. Let me try one more time. Recently, something I've been really wanting to do is pick up some new hobbies. I've been getting kind of bored of my current hobbies and I wanted to try something new. Today would be the perfect day to go out and try pottery. I feel like that'd be so fun. I thought that I would just kind of go for it today, be a little spontaneous, bring you guys along with me. Thank you. 
7.30 now. I'm so happy I had a cute pottery moment. I'm not gonna lie, that was a lot harder than I expected it to be. We were attempting to make a bowl and mine turned out super ugly, but it's okay because honestly now I wanna keep going and get better at it. I feel like that's gonna be a goal of mine over the summer is to improve my pottery skills. I did also go to a beginner's class, so everyone around me also didn't know what they were doing. I also ended up stopping by Pressed because like I mentioned earlier, I really want to do some sort of cleanse or detox and I felt that this was perfect. They basically just gave me a whole bunch of these juices that I'm going to be drinking every two hours and I'm going to be doing this tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. Tonight, I'm just going to get into my night routine. like such an old lady for some reason i just can't get myself to stay awake past like nine literally my bedtime right now is like 8 p.m and i just feel so dead already like i'm ready to go to bed but i do want myself to have a more solid night routine i feel like it's such a waste sometimes to go to sleep super early so my goal is to go to sleep like at 10 tonight i'm just finishing up my skincare right now i use these like toner pads all over my face now i'm going to be going in with this like snail serum So I wanted to be responsible right now and pack my bag the night before. This is currently my like everyday bag. I actually got this when I was in Korea. I'm actually going to be finishing my last week of school soon. And since tomorrow's Monday, I think I have like one or two classes. I'm gonna need my MacBook, my notebooks, the book that I'm reading, my cute little pencil case. This is like what I got from Muji. My favorite lip balm, wallet, a mini deodorant my computer plug-in thingy of course my headphones i usually just hang this on the side here i have my scrunchie hair clip oh and my water bottle i love how this bag literally fits everything <laughs> So usually at this point in the night, I either do one of three things. One is probably something relaxing like self-care or read whatever book I'm currently reading. If I have any sort of work that I need to finish, then I'll probably just be on my computer. Or three, literally just sleeping. It's funny because like once a month, I remember that I have a projector, which I always get so excited about because literally when I was decorating my room, I had left this plain wall here to project stuff onto and it's always such a vibe. So, Let's set that up really quickly. Ah. I'm literally just scrolling, trying to find a random playlist to play in the background while I read my book to have a little main character moment. Okay, why does this one sound appealing? Wait, okay, this one's pretty cute too. <laughs> The last thing I wanted to do before I go to sleep is put my hair into this little hair roller thing I was so tempted to just fall asleep This is literally a must every night because I feel like it makes my life so much easier So that I don't have to put as much effort into my hair in the morning I literally just wake up with cute curly hair and it also makes it so that I don't have to put as much heat on my hair Which is great. Uh, I just leave this up in a clip and then put the hair ties at the bottom tomorrow I just want to wake up and put on some clothes and get out of the house. Okay, so this does does always look a little bit crazy, but I promise you it's worth it. I'm gonna head to bed now and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm so glad that I ended up just getting up and forcing myself to do things instead of staying in bed, not doing anything. I just know that myself tomorrow is gonna thank me so hard. I love you guys so much and see you in my next video.